Ready? Every morning when I wash my face, he insists on doing this. I always struggle to turn off the tap. There we go. There we go. Come here. Aww. This is like, what's the big deal? It's just water. <laughs> Y'all good? What? Hey guys, it's Sasha with Rice and Raw, and I'm gonna be bringing you a what I eat in a day video. So I always start off with a smoothie in the morning, and unfortunately I woke up and I realized that we don't have any dates, we don't have any perfectly ripe bananas, but I was able to find uh, these four bananas, which are decent, I mean, I, they're not as ripe as I'd like them to be, but they're good enough. I'd rather them over the ones with the green stems. These are not ripe yet. Do not eat these yet. You want to wait until they're spotted, but um, just got to do it sometimes to get in um, the calories that I need. Otherwise, I'd have to turn to a cooked breakfast at this point, and I really, I don't really like having a cooked breakfast. I like having a little bit of raw, sweet sugar in the morning. And actually, speaking of sugar, I'm going to be adding some turbinado sugar um, to my smoothie. Uh, I've been adding this sometimes if I'm eating bananas that are not as ripe as I want them to be because we are poor banana planners, I guess. And I'm also going to be adding one teaspoon of maca root powder. And then some organic blueberries and cherries. I was going to say raspberries. No, these are definitely cherries. I'm excited. Hopefully this will turn out pretty well. I also um, always take in the morning. I just started doing this. My B12 sublingual. I just started this uh, about a few days ago. And um, I used to do B12 shots. But I think the, the regulations have changed. And it's actually kind of difficult to get B12 shots online, especially from a credible source. So I'm really weary of all that and I don't want to risk anything. Um, so I, I think this is kind of the way to go for me at this point. And also I've been trying to remember to take uh, my Biotin daily. Biotin helps with uh, hair and nail growth, uh, which I definitely need because my hair is very thin and it breaks very easily. Um, so this helps and they're actually vegan capsules from Trader Joe's. I love this. This is awesome. They're very easy to swallow as well. And today I'm just going to add some water. Sometimes I use almond milk, but I feel like sometimes with berries, oh, I put way too much water. <laughs> sometimes with berries, I'd rather it be water based than like a milky base. I just feel like it's, it just tastes fresher that way. I don't really like the berries and cream kind of taste, I guess. pretty as hell though, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's so pretty. Guess I have some cleaning up to do. Hey guys, so it's about 11 o'clock right now in the morning and I'm feeling pretty peckish. So um, I, my dad sent me for my birthday and my sister um, these beautiful little um, Italian breads. They're called Frizzell. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, they're savory and they're super delicious and he made them vegan for us. I don't know if the original recipes are vegan, but this one is. So I'm really excited to give it a try. And hey guys, so it's lunchtime and I have this leftover sushi from last night. I planned on eating it, but I got really tired and I just couldn't get through all of them. I ordered six rolls last night, so this is the leftovers. Right here we have the green tree roll, 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 which has avocado on top and then um, sweet potato on the inside. And then I have some avocado rolls and some black mushroom and avocado rolls. So I'm pretty full from the frizzel from earlier. So this might actually just tide me over. I'm not very much of a lunch person. I actually really despise lunch. I find it irritating. I find it a disruption in the day. For me, it's like lunch or breakfast is, is what gets me going. Breakfast is what starts my day. And then dinner is kind of what ends my day. And I just don't like breaking up my day in the middle. But I do realize that uh, if I don't have lunch, after work, I feel miserable. I'm up, I'm undercarved. I'm not happy. And even the few hours 
the few hours before work ends. I'm not really as focused, so I know it's really important to eat lunch, especially for me with my job. I need to be focused all the time. So I'm re really excited for this. I'm gonna let it sit a little bit since it was in the refrigerator and I don't really like eating cold sushi. I would much rather it be, <sighs> I can't breathe and talk at the same time. <laughs> I'd much rather it be at room temperature. So I'm going to enjoy this in a little bit. Hey guys, so I'm just making a little snack. It is almost four o'clock now, so I'm having a bowl full of uh, leftover white rice. And what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit of garlic salt, just the smallest little amount. And I'm also adding a really small amount of sushi vinegar. I don't really like when um, restaurants make their rice too vinegary, so I, I'm putting in the tiniest little bit just for that little flavor. And I'm also going to put some black sesame seeds, some light soy sauce, and then half of an avocado. And speaking of avocados, I want to give a shout out to my friend Nikocado Avocado. As you guys can tell from that clip, Nikocado Avocado is so much fun. He's such a blast to watch. I absolutely love his channel, and actually, his two channels. I watch both. I I am such a fan, and I'm so impressed with his video quality, his editing, and his content. And I love how personable he is with the camera. Like for me, this is very, very difficult to really portray who I am, my real personality on the camera. But for him, it just comes so naturally, and I really look up to that. And he has some great content and at the same time you know he does definitely address some of the entertaining um topics in the high carb vegan community which you know he brings a nice twist to it he brings like for me sometimes i'll be watching all the drama in the high carb vegan community and i'm like oh god this is just like so tedious but his videos are like what i go to because he will address the issues and he'll he'll make it seem like it's not the end of the goddamn world it's not like it has to be black or white it has to be one side or the other it, it's just, it makes it more fun. It makes it more like lighthearted and I really appreciate that as well. And I'm gonna go have my avocado and sushi rice. Bye. So I'm gonna enjoy a little bit of this beautiful sun that we're having because apparently it's gonna get much colder over the weekend. And um, I just started planting my seedlings. So I kill every freaking plant that I try to grow this time I will not <laughs> so I'm growing some thyme some uh, parsley and then in here I'm gonna have some tomatoes and basil and hopefully they will last enough for me to harvest something from them um, I have like a black thumb I just just kill everything so oh. hey babes Hey guys, so John and I are about to go have dinner. We're gonna to go to our favorite restaurant, Angry Tofu, and I decided to dress up because I don't get too often. So this is my outfit. Now there's Sherlock. There's Calypso playing. <laughs> hey you. 